well, we're talking about we lived in Austria, Vienna, and the Nazis took over, and it became hell on earth. This is the story of my grandmother, G. When she was about my age, her family and friends lived in the country of Austria. And this happened about uh, 70 years ago. She was an eyewitness to history, a very scary history. Uh, well, first they just told us we had to get out. Then they took away all the businesses, all the money in the banks, everything from us. And they told us if we have jewelry and we don't report it and bring it to them, uh, they would uh, put us in jail. There was what's called Kristallnacht. One terrible November night, the Jews of Vienna were attacked by gangs and gangs of Nazis. What happened was they broke into stores, but into apartments, broke their, uh, you know, the Jews, uh, whatever they had, and that's why they call it Kristallnacht. Now, across the street was a synagogue, and uh, we were now in our, in the cellar. We were afraid. Once they burned down the synagogue, they took all the holy books and this, put a fire there, and, and I was looking up to the sky, and I said, oh, God is going to burn them all. Didn't happen to them. Nothing happened to them. But they destroyed the synagogues that time in, throughout Vienna. From then on, Jewish people could not walk around safely outside. Uh, one time, my mother went into the store to buy some, uh, I think it was milk or whatever, and uh, again, these people, uh, brown-dressed uh, men came in, and they said, uh, Jews raus, which means get out. Now, that didn't mean that they should go home. They uh, put, put them in, into a line and uh, walked with them blocks and blocks away. And there they gave them buckets, told them to fill it up with water, get down on their knees, gave them a toothbrush, and told them to clean the sidewalks with that. Her knees were weak, they were sore, and she wasn't even there that long. Who knows how long the others had to stay and scrub the, the, the sidewalks. I forgot to tell you something important. My grandmother wore a metal brace on her leg because she had a disease called polio. One day, the family got a letter from the secret police. They wanted to send them to a terrible kind of jail for Jews in a faraway country called Poland. Jean's mother had to stay away from their apartment and hide from the police. And uh, I was looking out the window, and my mother, sure enough, she ran around. It was winter, cold, but she walked around. And at night she would go one time here, one time there to stay overnight, and in the morning she would get up and again. So anyway... I see across the street a big truck, an open truck, and they go into the building and they took two old people in wheelchairs and put them on the wagon, and then they walked over towards our house. Well, I got into bed quickly and took the brace and put it on the bed. And sure enough, they came in. The door was open because this woman was coming in and out to bring me some food. So they came in and they asked for my mother. And I said, well, she had reported to this. It was a school building. She had reported to that school. She had a notice to get there. They said, well, what about you? I said, well, she couldn't take me because my brace is broken and nobody would fix it for a Jew. He, they knew that they did, didn't do anything for Jews, that if it's broken, it stays broken, and I can't walk without the brace. So, but she went to the Gestapo, I said, which was a lie, just came into my head. I was pretty smart, 12 years old, but I knew what to say. She went, uh, there to, uh, it was the Prince Eugenstrasse, where, you know, Jews had to go if they needed papers or something, and she reported it and I'm going to be put into an orphanage. So they left. Didn't say anything, they just left. My grandma's family was able to escape to America, but many of her friends and relatives did not. 
I can't understand why this happened. Why would anybody want to hurt a little girl and her family and all the other Jewish people in Vienna? When I grow up, I'd like to help fight against prejudice and all the terrible things that happen because of it.